It's the potent political issue of 2024, and these the people in the crosshairs. Migrants stuck for the moment in no man's land, at the wall which separates Mexico and the United States. With border crossings at record highs, the president knows it's a serious vulnerability for his re-election campaign. And for his likely contender, a major opportunity, both men making dueling visits to the southern border. Beautiful day, but a very dangerous border. We're going to take care of it. Thank you. And this is where Donald Trump's rhetoric is reverberating. Nothing is more important to voters in the entirety of the, of the U.S. because we've basically made our country into a sanctuary <laughs> country. This group of veterans in San Diego are driving in convoy to the border wall. Derek is a former Marine turned estate agent. It just takes one. Mm -hmm. It takes one to cause, you know, another 9-11 or an October 7th in, mm -hmm. in Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, my wife travels with four kids. She doesn't have the training that I do mm -hmm. that goes around and, you know, is, is aware all the time. Yeah, she, yeah. she just doesn't. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, it definitely worries me. Donald Trump talks about um, immigrants poisoning the blood of America. What do you make of that sort of language? Illegal immigrants. Mm -hmm. I don't want here that are going to people that are going to come over and just suck the system dry. Where the wall ends, the group have laid razor wire in a bid to thwart what they say is an illegal invasion. We tried to make it painful enough upon arrival that they would just find, find another way. For those who do make it through, this is what their first few hours in the US looks like. Waiting on a pavement in central San Diego is Maria from Ecuador. She says she's fleeing gang violence. The situation in Ecuador, it's ugly, it's dangerous. We came over here for a better future, to support our family and to stay for a while. Immigration isn't just a flashpoint in border cities. These migrants are heading to the airport and destinations across the US. Laurie and Tom from Denver, Colorado, say the system in their city can't cope. We can only handle so many people. Mm -hmm. We only have the resources for so many and allow people just to keep coming in and coming in. Mm -hmm. Something's going to break. You think Donald Trump would protect the border better than the Biden administration currently is? I think anybody would protect the border better than the <laughs> Biden administration, regardless of who that is, truthfully. It seems like this in downtowns across America that feed fears about immigration. President Biden knows he has to turn this issue to his advantage if he's going to prevail over Donald Trump. Martha Kellner, Sky News at the US-Mexico border.